Hi friends, here I am again with another OET letter explanation. This is a letter for the gynecologist. So let's see how we can write a one OET letter to gynecologist. So the patient name is mentioned here, Mrs. Larissa Sanita, age 38 years old. Then family and social history is mentioned there and it is also mentioned she has one four year old boy. There is no uh, medical history, everything is unremarkable, she is uh, not on any medications. So see, it starts from 11-7-2005. So let's see what is our writing task. So using the information in the case notes, write a letter of referral to Dr. Elvira Sterenberg a gynecologist at 123 Church, St. Richmond, 3121. So, and the date is mentioned here is 2-2-2007. So, what you understand from this uh, information what they provided. So, this letter, we have to mention a two-year period information see it started from 11 7 2005 and we are writing the letter on february 2nd 2007 so there is two years information is provided here so we have to look in detail what all information we have to include in this letter and what should be omitted so let's see so in 11-7-2005, she came with complaints of tiredness, difficulty of sleeping for two months due to work stress. Actually, she was planning for another child in, since two three months, and but currently she is on oral contraceptive pill. Then the assessment is mentioned there, and there is nothing significant. She looks just pale and tired. So they diagnosed as stress-related anxiety. Then the plan, they made only relaxation techniques and reduced working hours and prescribed some sleeping tablets. Then in 2006, she came again. She stopped the oral contraceptive pills four months earlier. That means in April. Still menstruating but still worried. She cannot sleep, work, stress unchanged. So she looks tired and teary so again the assessment is work stress growing anxiety failure to conceive so the plans discussed regarding the nature of conception how long it should take and the patients then discussed frequency of sexual intercourse and the methods the temperature and cycle methods also discussed there then it comes on january 2007 Again, she's so concerned about failure to conceive and she's telling she's too old to conceive and sleep still a problem. Then the assessment is mentioned from the general exam, not, no abnormalities detected. So the pelvic exam and pap smear was done. Again, she was prescribed the varium dose is adjusted. Then she was advised to represent next week, accompanied by her husband. In January 2007, again, after one week for the revisit, she came uh, with her husband. She, he has no erectile dysfunction, libido normal, but Mrs. Sanita unchanged. Her husband, there is no problem. Thus, Spend count everything was checked and it is normal. So what they decided to refer to a specialist advice. That is why we are writing to the gynecologist. So let's see how we can write it. So first, as usual for all other letters, we have to write the address. So Dr. Elvira Sterenberg. Then his position, gynecologist, that just 123 Church, St. Richmond, 3121. So the exam date here was February 2nd, 2007. Then the salutation which goes, D. 
dear Dr. Sternberg. So then regarding the references, Mrs. Larissa Zanita, page 38. So how we can write the introduction? We are referring to the gynecologist. So first we can write, I am writing to introduce or refer Mrs. Larissa Zanita. What is her concern here? Whether we have to write who, who is suffering from work stress, is it related to gynecology or failure to conceive? So we can write this one, it will be very effective. Who is anxious regarding failure to conceive requires your special advice and attention. Then we can mention because she is who is, what is our position? We are the registered nurse who is writing the letter to gynecologist to refer. So we can mention because we she is uh, under our care since 2005. So we can mention that one. Mrs. Sanita has been under our care because we are using has been since 2005. She is under our care. If it was completed before and she just came today for a visit means we can take was but you know this is has the effect until now so we can mention has been under our care since 2005 and wishes to have her second child then we can mention also initially mrs Sanita was on oral contraceptive pills which was stopped when because it's mentioned here in the august stopped OCP four months earlier so that means in April 2006 then what has happened after that so we can try thereafter that should be the next paragraph so you have to leave a blank line in between just try to minimize three to four paragraphs so it will be easy for the reader to read so we can in order to get a flow we can write thereafter what we have done she was discussed regarding nature of conception frequency of sexual intercourse and natural methods so it has finished then after that what happened so later on she expressed her anxiety as she become too old and does not conceive it so it has finished then we can mention what happened on 25th January on 25th January 2007 Miss Anita accompanied by her husband who is very supportive to have another child on examination he does not have any erectile dysfunction and has normal libido his recent stem analysis revealed normal count so we have gave a clear picture about him also then we can write in the next paragraph apart from this comma she often has anxiety and insomnia due to job related stress so he will get an awareness about her stress condition for which she is on tablet volume twice daily then what is next so we gave all information related to her condition so what is our recommendation considering the above comma your further assessment and guidance would be highly beneficial for mr and mrs sanita because both of them are involved for this to conceive so he has to treat both of them even though he doesn't, her husband doesn't have any problems, both of them has to be treated as well. So we can mention that one for Mr. and Mrs. Sanita. Then the conclusion sentence, please do not hesitate to contact me if you have any queries regarding Mrs. Sanita. Then as the name is mentioned here for the address, so we can write you are sincerely registered us i think it's clear for you and if you have any doubts you can just comment it below 
the comment box thank you bye